we're back. All right, so if you caught the last video, you've seen that uh, we discovered the passport endorsement informational page here on the internet. Now, this one is, it says up here in the coding, um, 2008, but it says here, some passages or part of this was at least updated uh, 3 6 of 2020. So this still is current. Okay, so that's crazy. All right, and even down here, it says this part was redone here, 12, 12 of 09. So apparently they can add certain sections and just update that. Uh, for those who didn't see before, I took the passage in here with the exact code and put that into the explanatory statement so that when we say, hey, I want to declare myself a U.S. national and not a citizen, I already have the endorsement code. We have that inside of the explanatory statement. So the already great explanatory statement just got greater. There it is. Okay. You still have to send it, um, you know, to the, um, when, you, if you do it through the postal service, you still have to have a cover sheet that basically says, you know, this is to the attention of CEO, CFO, um, head VP, district manager, confidential materials only, just so that you're, at least the way I do mine, you don't have it processed by your low-level functionaries. So, all right, so let's jump into it. Um, yeah, well, I was going to move, but anyway, you'll just have to probably, you're not going to be able to read all of this anyway. So we'll just kind of go through, and um, uh, it's probably going to also be backwards for you guys. So anyway, what do we have here? So here they talk about some of the codings. So you've got diplomatic passports. You've got courtesy diplomatic passports, your passport card, your official passports, no fee regular passports, regular passports and service passports and all types of passports. Now, this is the part of the coding. I haven't been able to crack any of the code really uh, on the card, but most of these things should be easier to find in the book. But now where they use these exact, and I apologize because on your screen, you're not going to be able to see the actual code number um, and letter um, because it's off screen on my on my computer or TV screen here. On my laptop, I can see them. But anyway, we're just going to kind of breeze through um, some of this. So um, the one listed 101D. So if you have that on your passport card, I don't know if it's just the zero or zero one or if it's just the D or if it's, <laughs> that's funny, or if it's both of them put together. I don't know how that part of the code works, whether it's in the book on the card yet, because I'm giving you guys as hot as I'm just finding this stuff. Um, but that's the code. And it says that if you have that on there, it means the bearer is abroad on a diplomatic assignment for the United States government. You use only when authorized by CA. PPT or SIA and off the top of my head I don't remember what one of those actually I don't remember what all of them mean right now but I did know what one of them meant but I don't remember it right now wasn't didn't prepare my video apparently uh, enough but anyway so we go through and it just basically talks about which forms you've used to use how they can des um, designate which one you use to apply. Um, you go down farther. Uh, this one is a member of the family, sponsor name, and ambassador at large for certain whatever. So they know it's all coded with these codes in your passport. They know when it expires. That's in your code. Um, that it needs to be. This one is, has been replaced and it's temporary or whatever. Um, the bear is a consular agent of the United States resident in this city and country. So this is like the holy grail of endorsement codes right here. Um, and yes, as far as I know, it's legal to show this because I found it on the internet. I didn't do any hacking. I left all that stuff alone years ago. Um, this is just out there. So it is available. Um, let's see here. Do I pass? Uh, 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 okay, so the one we were talking about in the video by itself uh, was this one right here. Um, this number nine with all in, in captions is for the ones who want to declare themselves a U.S. national. So 
however you want to put it. Um, I'm looking for endorsement nine, nine all, nine parentheses all, however you want to do it. Um, but that one is to be used if you want to declare yourself a national and not a 14th Amendment citizen. So that's awesome. That's what we've been looking for. That's what an explanatory statement. So awesome sauce. As we go on, um, uh, talks more about uh, when it needs to be reissued. Um, referendums in West Sahara. Okay, all kinds. As you can see, like I said, there's no way I can read off all these to you. I'm not going to take up that much of your life and time. If you are that interested, I give, gave you the information on finding this. And if not, I'll recap at the end of uh, this little thing here. Um, so this one tells you here, look at this, Represental, bleh, representational areas, okay? State, meaning all the 50 states except Kentucky, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Interesting. Probably because some of those areas um, are like, you know, commonwealths, the state's a commonwealth or they're whatever else so they may not be included so they have all of that in here what what you, you know what's where you at the next one says territory so if it's a territory then you're you're in and they have this all coded in your passport so it's america samoa guam and the virgin islands if it's a commonwealth it's for the states of kentucky massachusetts pennsylvania that one i knew i was just saying that one now Virginia and the territories of Puerto Rico and Northern Mariana Islands is all considered Commonwealth. Interesting. All right, next from there, um, if it's a city, then it's for Washington, D.C. So they just consider that a city because we all know that it's owned by them. So interesting. All right, let's go on. So... The bear is the attorney general or deputy. Um, I, I, I wouldn't try to use some of these codes that don't belong to you because I'm pretty sure they're going to deny you or ask for proof. And if you can't, you're on the radar for not so good things. Um, it tells if you're abroad with the Red Cross um, in the forces. Let's see here. The bear is assigned to the multinational forces and observers. So to my people in California, and you know who you are, this might be why you got the number of stars that you, or asterisks on yours. Um, they have all the stuff coded in here. Okay, traveling with children, adoption, um, just, it goes on, to be replaced, um, person was convicted of crimes and felonies, um, expires, do not extend this past five years. The bear was convicted of an offense sexually. Um, the passport was lost, the card was lost, stolen. Um, but this passport was amended on or to remove an endorsement. This endorsement is used to amend an existing passport to delete an endorsement. So it's all right in here. So even if you have the same card or you're trying to get like a new card with, you know, like a new endorsement or update it to a U.S. national, they may not give it to you. You may only keep yours at the same star level or whatever else because now they're doing it through the codes or endorsements. And so if they have this in here, uh, and this one is, okay, DEL, um, it would mean that uh, they're just updating or mending your, your passport via the code instead of actually giving you it on the card. All right. Um, DS5504 for something. Extradition, deportation, reparation, prisoner transfer, all this stuff is in here. That's crazy. Um, okay. Okay, that's the, finally, that's the end of it. The last one, let's, we'll read the last one, then we'll call it. Uh, the bear was con ooh, convicted of a crime against a minor. Oh my God, okay. Um, so they have that in there, if any of you guys have done any of that. Um, hopefully not. 
uh, the passport is a replacement for passport and then number or whatever. This passport expires. Blah, blah, blah. So, all right, guys. That's about it. So, if you want to check out these codes. Oh, yes, you're right. I did promise that I would give you a recap on what to look up so you can find this out for yourself. All the way to the top. So, you're going to Google 8 fam space 505.2 passport endorsements and procedures and that's the exact number which is what i did it should take you here watch i went the long way around and didn't know to look of that up so anyway my hard work is your reward so there you guys are hopefully it handles questions for you inquiries satisfies your curiosities um it's now yours. Do with you will. I sprinkle these tidbits of information for all of you out there in YouTube land. So um, that's it. Don't forget to support your boy. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe on the way out. Um, stay around. There's more videos. Some things should be popping up any second with new videos I just uploaded. Most recommended. Somebody else's video. Join us. And whatever happens in that corner, I don't know. It's going to be something. So anyway, that's about it. In the descriptions down below, information about uh, getting discounts on Uber, Uber Eats, and whatever else. Um, starting some, just go read, scan through some of the stuff. Also, information on how to con contact me. Um, I just added Google Pay because somebody was like, can I pay you? But I don't want to pay through PayPal or Zelle. So it's like, sure, what do you have? They're like, Google Pay. So I added Google Pay. It's cheaper. I guess it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not a federal, you know, so I don't pay that stuff. State stuff, yes. Um, but I don't mind paying them. At least that supports the local, not the DC beast. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So support, donations, all that stuff is cool. Enjoy yourselves. Have a great weekend. Get out and get some air if you can. Um, thank you to all those people who were essential. And have, thank you for all the people not going crazy. Thank you for all the people who... Also didn't go crazy who are out there working in the hospitals, um, like my friend Blake and them down in Florida and um, the one everywhere. Just thanks for what you guys do. Appreciate it. Um, over and out. Talk to you guys later.